Well, good morning, young people. Happy Sabbath. Welcome to Sabbath School at the Daughter of Zion Seventh-day Adventist Church. Um, I will be presenting the early teen Sabbath School lesson this morning. Let's start with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for allowing us to see another day. We ask now that you will open up our hearts and minds to be receptive to what we will learn about you. And Father, may it help us to draw closer to you. We ask for blessings on our family, on our friends, and we ask for forgiveness of our sins. These things we ask in Jesus' precious name. Amen. All right. So our lesson this morning is entitled, Welcome Back, Jesus. And this lesson revolves around um, Acts chapter 1, verse 11. And here is our power text. It's found in Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. I want you to think about a loved one that maybe you lost. And here I have a memorable day, September 11, 2001. This was the day that terrorists actually ran their plane into the Twin Towers in New York City. And there were a lot of representations of what they did, which was the opposite of representing love or unity. And so a lot of people lost their lives that day. A lot of people lost their lives who were just victims. They were innocent people. Others were people who were trying to help others get out. They lost their lives as a result. And so loss is not an easy thing. Now here we are in 2020 and we suffered even more losses um, through COVID-19. And now it's to the point to where we can't do some of these things that you see here. We can't shake hands. We can't hug. We can't give high fives. Okay. We have to basically fist pump or talk to people through a computer screen. And so it's very difficult to lose loved ones to tragedies such as September the September 11 tragedy as well as the pandemic that we are um, facing now as really the world. So I want you to think about if you could see your loved ones again, would that be important to you? Is it important that you know that when Jesus comes back, that you're going to see that loved one again. And it's a very important lesson. So our lesson today, again, it's taken from Acts chapter 1, verse 11. We've heard about Jesus and how he came back to life. He was alive, at, or he is alive. Many people saw him when he was alive again. He showed them that he was alive. He proved that God kept his promise. When Jesus talked to people, he told them about God's world. Everyone listened and wanted to learn more. He also told them something very important. When he walked the earth with his disciples, he told them that they must go and tell people about him. He told them to do it first in the city where they were, which was Jerusalem, and then go out into larger areas such as Judea and Samaria. And then he admonished them to go out into the rest of the world. So it's like he was saying, go to Delray Beach. And then I want you to go to Miami. And then I want you to cover every part of Florida. Okay. 
Then outside of Florida, I want you to go to Texas, California, New York, Washington, D.C., etc. And it really did happen that way. Jesus' disciples went and told their friends in the city. Then they were in the area. And then they traveled all the world. And after Jesus said these things, the Bible says that he went up to heaven right before their eyes. I can imagine that Jesus just floated up like a balloon in the sky. The Bible says that a cloud hid him from their sight. Jesus' friends, well, they were there standing watching the sky when something happened. Two angels appeared and they asked Jesus' friends, why are you gazing up into the sky? The same Jesus who just went up, he will come back again. The Bible tells us that only God knows when that would be. So young people, we have to be ready anytime. COVID-19, it's no respecter of person. It's taking away children. It's taking away mommies and daddies. It's even taking away older people. Well, Jesus kept every promise he ever made, and we know that. We can be assured that Jesus will come back one day. In his promise, he said that he will take everyone to heaven who believes in him. Jesus died and rose again so that we can be with him in heaven if we believe in him. Young people, we can believe in Jesus. If you believe that, say it. Jesus, I believe in you. Now, we have to accept responsibility. We have to tell Jesus we're sorry for the wrong things that we've done. And then we have to trust him with all our heart and ask him to live with us forever so that we won't do those wrong things again. You see, young people, Jesus comes into your life. And when he comes into your life, he basically wants to reside there forever. He'll never leave. And so the same Jesus you saw going up, the Bible says, is the same Jesus that's going to come back the same way. So for our lesson today, I'd like to end with the song, When We All Get to Heaven, because that is our aim. That is our goal. We want to one day see our loved ones and be reunited with them with Christ in heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. I don't know about you, but I am ready to see Jesus. With all of the turmoil, the problems that we're having, it would be just a welcoming thing in the midst of the bad news. But until he does come again, we have to hold fast. And we have to rest assured that our faith in him is strengthened. Let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this lesson. Thank you for the promise, the blessed hope that Jesus is going to come back to receive us. And we pray that we will be ready so that we can meet him and our loved ones and live together in the ceaseless ages of eternity. These things we ask in your son's precious name. Help us to continually be a witness for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for joining. I hope you have a good rest of the day this Sabbath day. Bye-bye.